Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today we are doing a fun and festive Valentine's monogram. This is a heart monogram. We're gonna do it on the embroidery machine. So stay tuned to see how I make this. Okay, to get started, we're gonna use, I think it's the same sweatshirt, a Gildan 50-50. Um, this is 50% cotton, 50% polyester sweatshirt. Um, I have a size medium. It, I'm just gonna fold it in half and do a quick press. I've already got my heat press heating up for something else. So now let's get on the Hoopmaster hooping station. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Hoopmaster hooping station. This is for the 5x5 Mighty Hoop. And so I've been experimenting with this. I've been using it a lot and for monograms, I'm gonna move it just a smidge over. So, all you have to do is take it, and I'm gonna move it, I had it on 15. So, 15, and now I'm gonna go to 14, and just put it in. So, it's all about finding what works best for the garment you're working on, finding your groove, and then just write down the number you use. And now we're just gonna add our stabilizer. So today I'm gonna use a cutaway. This is the All Stitch Classic cutaway and then I'm just using a piece of tearaway as well. This font is like a super dense stitch out so I wanna have some extra stability. Um, I accidentally bought the 10 by 10 so I'm just gonna cut it down to fit it a little better. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our Mighty Hoop, place it in like so. And we're gonna open the stabilizer holders. Place. And I'm actually gonna place the tearaway first and then this one. So depending on what type of garment you're using, sometimes you'll just use one sheet of cutaway. I have stitched this before and it was on a thinner shirt, but I noticed a little bit of puckering. That means I need a little more stability. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the tearaway instead of floating it underneath. Okay, so now we're just gonna put it on since I found center. And we're gonna aim for about, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it and kind of see how close I am. So like any left chest polo, I'm doing about four over and six and a half down. So let's see how it looks on this particular setting. Um, and you won't have to do this every time, but the first time you try a new setting, I definitely recommend making sure you have it in the right spot. It looks pretty good. Okay, so we just line up the shoulder seams, make sure this line is on center, and that way you'll have it perfect every time. See how easy that was? Okay, let's take it release and I'm actually going to move it over just a smidge. Um, I like my monograms to be a little closer to the center versus out. So looks good to me. Let's get it on the Melco and get the scalloped heart monogram going. Okay first things first before you start your day you always want to clean. So I'm going to take the bobbin out. I'm going to dust with my air duster. Make sure I have enough bobbin, looks good. Then I'm gonna oil it, It's one drop right there. Make sure it's in, and voila, we're ready to go. Nice and secure. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and load the design on the machine. Now that I have the design loaded, um, I'm just going to use my laser. I love the laser. And I'm a little off, so I'm just gonna go over a little. I did move my sticker to kind of be more center. So I'm just using the hoop and over button, and then I hit the laser button. So now I'm gonna trace out by design. Um, you always wanna trace, just to make sure you know where it's gonna go. Looks good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is a little trick um, my fingers have trouble sometimes getting the sticker off. So what I like to do is I like to toggle the front grabbers, windshield wiper, bullseye, take that off. You can reuse these stickers 
These are the Designs and Machine Embroidery Target stickers. I have been loving these. I used to love the erasable markers, and now I love these because you don't have to do any work after. You just take the stickers off before you stitch. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and grab some water salvy. Um, I prefer using this, especially on sweatshirts. So, it just makes a cleaner stitch out. And we are gonna do needle number 16. Um, I've already got my settings in here. All right, let's get started. Okay, so it just finished. Look how adorable, oh my gosh. So I'll link this exact um, font below. I found it on Etsy, super affordable. It was part of a bundle, so I was honestly a little hesitant, but it stitched so great. Um, just make sure to look at the font chart. Some of the letters are a little wonky just because it's in a heart shape. So make sure you check the, the full font before you buy it. But anywho, let's take the water salve off and try it on. today's video look how cute it turned out so the mighty hoop hooping station definitely helped me out with the placement I mean that is perfect so this is such a fun and festive monogram that your customers will love and it just gets you in the mood for Valentine's Day so try some fun color combos I love pink and red together do you could do red shirts white shirts um, the possibilities are endless. So I will link everything I used today below, including the font, and if you are interested in a Melco EMT 16X embroidery machine, I'll leave Ron's information below. You can text him or you can contact him through my link. I have so many tutorials coming up, you're not gonna wanna miss. So make sure you hit subscribe, and until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.